Good morning, welcome back to another day in the life of a reseller vlog. Today is Thursday, March 21st. If you guys are here, you're probably here because you saw the video that I got another storage unit yesterday. I got it home and this morning I unloaded everything from the truck. I got it in the garage and uh, got it uh, drying off. We did get a little rain overnight, and uh, but I think it got into the garage without any issues. Uh, just a few things got rained on but uh, we'll take a look at everything and start unloading unboxing everything today giving you guys a look at everything that we purchased in this unit but first i gotta make some room i've got that easter dish set uh, in the garage kind of on the floor there we want to take that into the photo station we want to get that photographed and we want to get that listed as well as a couple pair of Air Jordans and some hats. So that's the plan this morning. Get some fresh inventory photographed and ready to be listed and then we'll dive into this new storage unit. I think I paid $187, make that $287 total for it. Um, $252.54 due at the facility. $287 total. It was a little 5x5. Five five, featured a nice uh, bike in there as well as some other things you could see. So. Um, I'll give you guys a look at everything. It's all spread out in the garage right now, but uh, we'll get into it today. But first, let's get that dish set ready to be photographed and those Jordans and those hats. All right, there it is, a beautiful Easter dish set by Temptations. I got it all set out here. We got to reorganize it a little bit, get it looking a little bit better for photographs. But uh, you can see everything you get. Bowls and uh, salad bowls and uh, more soup bowls. These two little uh, pink and blue eggs on these canisters more bowls bigger bowls a little easter setting there and this big bowl with a, a plastic lid to it so a pretty nice set we'll have to do some comps and see what it goes for we got the box over here and we got some uh, packing peanuts there so we're gonna get it uh, packed up and ready to ship after we photograph it so uh, should be quite a process but the, the first step is down we got it here in the photo station I think I need to move this jewelry a little again uh, we did throw some of those further back but uh, get those out of there and arrange us to look in a little bit nicer and then we'll get those photos snapped and get it back in the box so an item like this sometimes the photo taking process is the hardest part of things you gotta get it all set up and uh, shipping again this one is a difficult one but we have all the supplies here ready to get it uh, back in the box and shape safely, safely to its new destination hopefully we can get a quick sale before Easter uh, we'll see but uh, right now we're gonna play a little bit of Jenga and get this thing on this uh, photo um, station here get it spread out so it's looking nice and ready for resale um, that's the plan next all right we got it cleaned up spread out a little and reorganized I think it's gonna look best if we have it taken like this the photos like this um, we did put the Easter and some of the smaller items down in the front here so that it'll be more of a focus point but of course we'll take photos of everything we might slide it a little bit closer toward the door um, just to allow a little white space toward the end there but that's what it's going to look like all right we got it photographed now comes the hard part we got to pack it back up in the box we got some peanuts here in the original box we took out uh, all the paper um, but we're going to get it in there with a nice base of peanuts and hopefully it will all fit once uh, we get it all loaded back in that's the trick uh, make sure it fits again yeah, what was once in that box has to fit in that box again, right? We want to add plenty of peanuts to make sure nothing breaks, but we also um, need to make sure it fits. So that's uh, that's going to be the tough part. Let's get to it. All right, as you can see, we got the base built up. We got uh, plenty of peanuts in there and packing materials. Now all we have left are these last small items to get on top. We still got plenty of paper and uh, a little bit of peanuts left. So we should be able to top this off and make it work. Let's see if we can do it. It's always kind of interesting to look at the newspaper they use. This was from Wednesday uh, the 4th of uh, 2018. It says UW signs 10 year apparel deal with Adidas. So 2018 this goes back to. Alright there it is we got it all in there. So all that's left to do is close the top and tape that one up. See how much it weighs and then we can get it listed. Um, I did sell an Easter dish set for $144 recently, so then I uh, grabbed this one, hoping to make a sale like that again. 
Um, it's not my favorite thing to do. It takes way more time than I expected to pack that into that box. But uh, we got it in there. We're, we're ready to get this listed. We got the photographs taken. The hard part is done. Now we need to just post that up and hope that we get a sale and that it makes it there in one piece. We haven't heard back from the last set that went through, so hopefully that one was packed up all right. I did uh, spend a significant amount of time packing that one as well. So when you do a dish set like this, you can make a decent amount of money, but it does take some time, especially the packing and photographing and all that stuff, to make sure you do it with the... Uh, with the right uh, packing material so that it arrives to its destination in one piece. We don't want it uh, broken up into all kinds of pieces or the customer's not happy. So uh, we got the, the bag of peanuts in there and we got everything uh, puzzled in there so that it fits. And I think it's in there pretty tight and uh, shouldn't shift around during uh, shipment. All right, there it is back in the original box like it just came from the manufacturer. What does it say on there? Easter desk decorations, Easter... Uh, serving dishes, Temptations eggs. So you get all that and more. Hopefully they don't have any questions because I'm not opening that box again. So we're not taking any measurements. They can get that from the website if they want. Um, we eyeballed it. Uh, we're going to get it listed as is based on the photos. They can buy it based on the photos and uh, we'll count up the number of pieces and uh, give the best description that we can. We'll let AI do it. It'll do the rest. Fill that in and um, Give them an artificial intelligence uh, description of what they're going to be getting. A Temptations dish set. How hard could it be, right? Uh, just in time for Easter. Hopefully someone will pick that one up. Um, not sure if it's going to sell quite as much as the other one. The other one sold for $144, I believe. Um, but this one we're hoping to get at least $100 plus shipping. That would be ideal. All right, we grabbed a couple more brand new shoes off the top of the stack those Air Jordans. We got two Air Jordans and we got a couple other shoes as well. Let's see what do we have here. This was a pair of boots that came in a unit. Cal Calto? Calto. Um, so brand new in the box. Let's see. Men's size 8, women's size 9. Adds 3 inches height for short people. Oh, that's interesting. So uh, maybe those are specialty boots for uh, height heighteners. Uh, we got a pair of uh, Under Armour. These cleats are basketball shoes. Let's see, clutch fit, clutch fit. I don't think that they're brand new, but they are in the box. They might be new. I don't know. They they got the stuffing in the toe. They might just be a little dusty. Um, but we may be able to list, uh, dust them off and list them as new. Clean them up a little bit. Um, I don't know. We'll see what we want to do. Over here you can see the dust on this one. That can definitely tell. We'll have to get this box cleaned up before we uh, sell these. But a uh, pair of Jordans. What do we have here? I don't know if this is some sort of keep them fresh type of thing or uh, some beads or what. But uh, some nice golden blacks. Foam composite. Yeah, those might not be brand new either, but they ha are the box. And then we got some little ones here. Look at these cute little Jordans. Little red ones. These aren't brand new either, but uh, they have the box. So uh, we can uh, ask a decent amount since we will be shipping them in the box. A lot of people like to buy them with the box. These are size 11C Jordan Velocity BPs. Cute. And then these, uh, assuming this is the right box, these are ten and a halfs. Most of the Jordans I have are ten and a half. Um, what does this say? We'll have to look at the style number on these. Um, Jordan 6 Retros. So we'll have to check the style number, make sure that we have the right model in there. That was the only uh, sticking point. Uh, same with these. So once we get those Jordans dusted and photographed, we're going to do these as well. We're going to do five hats. We got uh, so Disneyland hat, Univers University of Arizona, proud to be an American, USA, patriotic hat, a black on black Adidas, a fitted hat, climb a light, size small, medium actually, it says A flex. So, and then Arizona Devils, Arizona Sun Devils, football. This is actually a nicer Nike True hat with the snapback and the ASU uh, pitchfork on the back there. 
So that one might be worth a significant amount of money, but uh, the Adidas hat probably has some decent value, 15 bucks. These are more like uh, 5 to $10 hats there, but a uh, few nice ones. So in addition to that storage unit I bought yesterday, I did buy a couple more hat lots, so those will be coming in the mail shortly. We're going to work through these hats, get the last of the stacks listed um, from the previous buyout. Um, we've been doing some online arbitrage with hat lots and having some pretty good looks selling hats. So we're going to continue with that and uh, mix in some of the storage unit inventory as time allows. And of course that Jordan um, collection is going up. That's going to take a while. We've got quite a few more to go on that. But uh, it's all part of the process. Day in the life of a reseller. Thanks for coming along. Thanks for watching the vlog. If you haven't subscribed yet, please take a second to hit that subscription button. Ring that notification bell and that way you'll be uh, notified when all the videos drop. Um, we're going to get into that garage, just a reminder, and start unboxing that uh, 5x5 unit I got in Muckleteo. They called it Linwood, but it was more like Luck Muckleteo over that way, by the Muckleteo Speedway. And uh, storage, public storage unit, it was uh, public storage is the company, a little 5x5 there. It was a um, climate controlled facility, so it was kind of nice in there. That way you know your stuff is going to be climate controlled, it's not going to be a bunch of mold or... Uh, moisture or anything like that getting into it. Uh, of course when you leave it in the truck overnight it does get a little moisture on it when it rains but uh, that was my fault. I got home late last night, was a little bit tired and I uh, could have unloaded it last night but it was dark and uh, we waited till this morning. Everything did get into the garage in one piece um, but just some of it had a little moisture so we'll see how things are affected. Um, there were um, a little cheap microwave and stuff in the back that may have got a little water um, but we'll see I'm not really that worried about that that stuff might just be donated anyways I usually don't uh, sell microwaves but uh, we'll see I'll plug it in and see if it works so for, before I get into taking the rest of those photos and uh, get into unboxing I think I'm gonna have a little lunch it's almost one o'clock now I was watching a little Conor McGregor I guess the Mac is back he's planning to fight this summer probably Michael Chandler from what I hear but he was on the Area Hawani show this morning talking about it. He's got that new Roadhouse movie coming out. It was kind of interesting to hear from him. He has such a way of speaking, you know, obviously the interesting accent, but also his energy. Um, when you do a vlog like this, it's hard to kind of keep that energy up. And he makes you, makes you wonder what he's on to get them all hyped up like that. Or maybe that's just the way he is. But uh, kind of interesting to watch that one this morning. What do you want to do? Come on, dude. Come on, dude. You know the way, like, there's Arnold Schwarzenegger, and then there's, like, Sylvester Stallone, and then all, all these guys, and they've all these great movies are made around them. There's a little snippet of, uh, oh, Mc McGregor, McGregor. He, uh, obviously is, uh, all in on this Hollywood thing, talking about, uh, the movies that could be made around him. He wants to be the franchise, you know, wants to be the next, uh, take over the box office. I don't know, he's got a lot of personality, but, uh, he's also got a lot of issues, uh, that follow him, so... He might not be cut out for Hollywood, you know, um, although he has the personality, uh, sometimes those problems will prevent studios from taking a chance on you. I don't think they don't know that. I don't think they don't know that this is all, not all going on as well, so, you know, I don't know if they're going to come out with me, but, you know. All right, we're going to take a little lunch break. As you can hear, I already have a bite, and then we'll get back at it. All right, I've got a few listings up. It's about six o'clock now. I'm lacking a little bit of mo motivation today. That happens sometimes in the day in the life of a reseller, especially after a big storage clean out. It takes a lot out of you. So uh, today's been kind of a slow one trying to get back into the mix. You did uh, see me get those uh, dishes listed and I got the photos of those Jordans taken and uh, have begun listing some hats. But I haven't uh, gotten into this storage unit yet and uh, unboxed it the way that I had planned today. So we're going to get into the cab of the truck and get everything else out. And then we'll get into some of these boxes and see what we got. All right, we got everything in the garage now out of the truck. There appears to be a little Epson printer here. This is the Workforce WF2950. WF2950. So we'll have to look this up, see if this is worth listing or uh, it's something we donate. It appears to be a fairly new printer, so it might be worth uh, checking out if we can find um, the software to download it. And maybe it might be wireless. I don't know. We'll check it out. It appears there is some sort of power cable that is necessary for this to run, so we'll have to keep an eye out for that. 
So there was a microwave and it looks like a convection oven, a couple boxes here. And uh, this was in it. It said to go power two stroke gas generator model GG1000, 100, 1000 peak watts and 800, 800 running watts. Again, this appears to be pretty new as well. I don't know a lot about these things, but uh, we'll look it up and see what the value is. Gas oil mix 50 to 1. It's got the little pull start over here. So that's a pretty cool little piece. It did have a little gas can with it as well. So here's that guitar. I did take a little peek in there yesterday when I was cleaning out the unit. Uh, basically because I think I dropped it and I wanted to make sure I didn't break it. But uh, it appears to be in uh, rough condition. It has some sort of powder on it. So I'm not sure what that is. It was on the keyboard as well. It feels like there's something in this pocket, so I guess we could look in here and see what is in here. If we can get this zipper open. Let me use two hands and I'll show you guys. Alright, we got it unzipped. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, just some extra string. And what else? And what is this? Some picks. Maybe some sort of tuning thing. I don't know. Input output. So that might be worth something. I'm not sure. I'm not a music expert, but uh P E A V E Y is Pevy. Pevy is the brand of this little guitar. Um looks to be a little starter guitar. Probably not not a whole lot of value, but uh pretty nice. Here's a look at that bike. It's uh Kent 700 Road Tech. Road Tech. It's in good condition. Uh, doesn't look like it was even rode that much. Um, has the little cell phone case right here. A little light on the front, it looks like. A reflector light. Um, had a lock on it. So we don't know the combination. Um, so we have to leave that on there, I guess, or cut it off. Nice bike seat green and black in color it does say a shimano equipped on the back there so maybe it has the shimano brakes or whatever so there was one box of canned food I put that in the pantry just brand new stuff uh beans and stuff that you can that doesn't go bad so i didn't feel bad about keeping it there was some brand new hot sauce too that still had the shrink wrap on it so that stuff uh, will go into the fridge and the pantry and uh, we can use that stuff. It appears that they did some sort of pop-up cooking. Um, there was a, you know, some evidence of that to go, some sort of to-go service. Uh, so they might have used this bag for that. Of course they have their bike helmet in there as well. Pretty nice one actually. What is it? King bike. King bike helmet. So we can use that. I've got one but I don't know if you, mine is even nice as this one. So. Another extra bike helmet always comes in handy. So there was this uh, Home Depot um, drink canister and I opened it. It does have some stuff in it. Um, probably again they use this for their little pop-up service. Uh, let's see, they got some powdered sugar in here. Brand new thing of powdered sugar. And Pane Ragati. Pane Rigatti, and let's see what we got here. Some gloves, so they were serving up some good food, it looks like. And a little meat thermometer, some more spaghetti, thin spaghetti here. So this stuff is uh, in good condition. You probably feel okay to eat this, brand new in the box. And uh, that's it. A little thermometer, cooking thermometer. I guess we could use that for a turkey or whatever else we're cooking to make sure it's up to temps. So here's even more further evidence of their pop-up shop. They have some uh, some utensils and napkins and uh, crackers and stuff. So sometimes with units you gotta kinda piece things together and we're slowly starting to get the puzzle pieces to this one. Um, again, like I mentioned, he, he ran some sort of uh, to-go um, food service, a pop-up shop of some sort, uh, cooking 
I'm not sure what kind of food, but uh, we have some evidence that it might have been uh, Italian or seafood or something. But uh, we uh, have the contents of that uh, food box here in the pantry. I thought I'd give you guys a quick look at what was in it. So here it was. Um, some seasonings, some peaches, more seasoning, green beans, spicy jalapeno, prego, Italian seasoning, cinnamon, Italian style breadcrumbs, and nutmeg. So whatever they were cooking, that's what it was about. There was also this a briar rabbit syrup, light flavored, and a little Fleshman's yeast, stir fry sauce, and uh, Liam Perron's brand new. So uh, those were good additions. There was a couple hot sauces that looked like some sort of specialty hot sauce. Blue agave sriracha. Um, and this one was a Louisiana hot sauce. That one was open, but we threw it in the fridge, so should be all right. So I guess it's always good to have a little extra hot sauce around, right? It keeps, it keeps a little spice in your life. Um, we definitely have that now with the addition of that stuff. But uh, I did bring some clothing, a first a bag of clothing up into the living room, and we have it here on hangers. So we're going to take it off the hangers. I'll give you guys a look at what we got and uh, let you know what it's about. So here's a look at it. Um, unlike the last unit, this appears to be in pretty good condition, um, it, like direct from a closet. The other stuff was uh, need of washing. This stuff probably won't need it washing we got to this is actually a size 18 women's dress so there may be some women's stuff uh, I didn't see evidence of a woman in most of this stuff but uh, maybe the closet is where their her stuff was uh, we got a dress there um, and it looks like a little cardigan open front cardigan so this is all women's clothing it looks like so far what do we got here always indigo size 3x so a little cardigan there and another one here liz claiborne 2x then it looks like we get into some dress shirts we're gonna turn this around get them facing the right way all right i think we got them facing the right way let's get into these a little faster it looks like a black t-shirt of course this one is not facing the right way we flipped it around the wrong way um something arden these are bigger sizes though, which is good. 2XLs and XXLs. Here's a, what does this say? The future is mine. The future is mine. I can get behind that. That's cool tee. Another black t-shirt. So basic stuff. Some of this stuff is inside out. So we'll have to get it to look in the right way. They probably took it out of the dryer and threw it right on a hanger. This uh, looks like... Hot Fox, size 2XL. Let's see that Hot Fox. So a little blazer jacket, kind of a brown in color. Um, pair of pants here. 89th Madison, large. A lot of open front stuff. And a hooded sweatshirt. And this is Fred David Woman, size 2X. A little 2X dress shirt. So I got what I thought was a men's unit. I was hoping for some nice men's clothing, but we got more women's clothing. Uh, apparently that was her side of the closet that ended up in the storage unit. Uh, maybe an, uh, an ex-girlfriend or a, a wife that uh, left her stuff in the closet. They, uh, they made its way to the storage unit. Who knows the story behind all that stuff. But uh, um, the rest of the stuff appears to be a man's unit, a lot of tools, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Maybe it was a woman's unit. Um, but we'll get that stuff uh, in a tote and ready to be listed. Um, the good thing is it is larger sizes, which have a faster sell-through rate. So those 2X and XXL are always good to see. Um, there's a lot of demand for that type of stuff. They don't make as many of those sizes. So um, not a lot of brand name stuff that I'm seeing, um, but... That doesn't mean it won't sell. You just got to list it at a lower price point. Uh, so we're going to deal with that clothing, get it set away in uh, one of these totes. We got five totes here set up from the last storage clean out. All clothing that I had washed. And I think I can just add these to that last tote. We still got a little room in it. So here's that shirt I was mentioning. I think I said Elizabeth Arden. It's actually Pretty Garden. has a little graphic on it. Um, Pretty Garden, so that is the brand. All right, there you see, we got everything off the hanger and there it is, it all fit nicely in this last tote. 
Uh, we got five totes here full of clothing ready to be listed. So again, most of that clothing came from the last unit, the Linden unit, but uh, this one was the $287 Mukilteo unit. We're going to call it a Mukilteo. They said Linwood, but uh, closer to Mukilteo. Um, didn't have a lot of high-end clothing in that. There was probably the nicest item was that dress I showed you earlier. Kind of a long flowy dress. There was a lot of uh, sweaters, kind of open front sweaters and stuff like that. A couple graphic t-shirts, mostly all women's stuff. There was one men's t-shirt, but uh, all women's stuff. Uh, so we got that put away and ready for listing another day. Once I get into list mode, I'll have plenty of inventory to go through. So I guess we keep unboxing, right? We're going to get back into the garage, take a look at another box. Maybe we can get into one and find something cooler than a bunch of clothes and uh, food but uh, so far we got uh, some value um, that uh, batch of clothing uh, I'd imagine is probably $150 worth of clothing so uh, we paid $287 for everything um, $252.54 upon arrival that was what I paid the lady and uh, took all that stuff a whole truckload of stuff um, home so we're going through it we're getting into it day in the life of a reseller it's not glamorous but uh, we're still searching for that treasure we're searching for a big money item so far we're finding singles but uh, we're looking for that home run so we want some of this we want some Jordans where are the Air Jordans so this is kind of cool it looks like they made a cherry kool-aid pie that was one of the things they served up in their uh, little to-go restaurant. So I guess we just start with this big box on the top, right? We'll get into this and see what we can find. There is a little bike pump. I threw that on the top. And I think this is the one um, has a nice little Starbucks cup. I guess that's not really worth anything, but uh, I guess maybe it is a little Starbucks to-go cup. Um, but there was this little iPad. Um, not sure we can get that thing to fire up or not but uh, it's in condi good condition and uh, no cracks or anything so that has some value so I showed you guys this nice little insulated to go bag uh, it's pretty cool you can unzip it at the top here as you can see we got it unzipped there but we you can also unzip it here and pull the food from the bottom portion so kind of a multi-purpose uh, to go bag has the carrying handles on the top here so you can uh, zip it up and carry all the goodies to wherever you're going to get to your destination. Actually, you can actually wear it as a backpack. Look at that. It's got a backpack um, straps on the back here. So you can uh, it's probably a decent uh, bag with a decent amount of value for this bag. I have to look those up. I've never done any research on uh, to-go bags, but it uh, might be worth to have. Um, use it uh, if you cook something and you need to carry it to somewhere. Look who we got over here checking things out. He's like, what are you doing in that garage there? You say you got some to-go food? He's over here having a little bit of lunch. He's actually not too far away from me. A little curious today, probably. So we got some nature. There's usually a duo of them, but uh, he might be alone by himself. I don't know. He's having a snack in the neighbor's yard. I'm going to sneak around the other corner to see if his buddy is there, but... Uh, not sure how close he's going to let me get, uh, but there he is. He doesn't look too afraid of me. But uh, we often have these guys come visit our yard, and they're pretty friendly. But they do kind of sneak up on you if you're not paying attention. I was working in the garage, and he was right there doing his thing. Little curious guy. Let him get back to eating his snack, so I guess. I showed you guys the bike. I showed you the bike helmet, but we also had this bike pump. Um, so we had an extra hanger here. And here's the nice uh, bike pump. Um, it was in this King Bike uh, hat, a bag rather. This is a Highline pump, so it looks like it's practically brand new. Um, and it's got these things that fold down here. And, uh, well, typical bike pump. You've seen them. You know how it works. But uh, nice to have. You can sell that with the bike if you need be. And there was an extra visor. Did I show you that? An extra visor to the helmet. So maybe a different uh, helmet. Alright, we're finding some more, more clothing up on the top of this box. And uh, looks like it is some brand name stuff. This shirt has a few little stains on it. But it is an Adidas. So signs of actually some brand name clothing. Which is good. 
Now this one probably is minimal value since it is stained up, but uh, we'll keep looking. All right, we got an Adidas t-shirt. Now we got an Adidas uh, athletic bra, it looks like, uh, or tank top. Um, kind of a tighter athletic uh, wear. So uh, Adidas is their brand, it looks like. Oh, it looks like I spoke too soon. We got where we're wearing Nike with Adidas. Is that allowed? It looks like this might have been left over from a bike ride or something. Um, it was kind of, uh, looks like a little bit uh, dirty, so uh, we'll have to run that through the wash. But we got Nike shorts, Adidas tops. And we got a funny uh, graphic t-shirt here. It says, it's way too people-y outside. We, way too people-y, meaning there's too many people. I can definitely relate to that sometimes. I'm sure we all can. Let's see what kind of tag this is on. Fruit of the Loom HD Cotton. So this one did have a few little stains. Like I said, uh, it's probably worn on a bike ride. See, we'll have to spray that, see if that comes out. Uh, looks like they got a little spray, a back spray when they're riding their bike. Either that or they had an accident in the rear. Who knows, but uh, there's a few clothing items. We'll have to wash up and see how they turn out. So now we're here into this box, um, well into this box. We got that clothing out of the way. You guys saw this. We'll set that aside um, and decide what we want to do with that. And uh, there was something here by T-Mobile, a little T-Mobile. Is it a, um, I don't know what this would be called, password. Uh, so like a portable modem or something. Um, but we're going to get into this box. Looks like dude, there's a couple yearbooks on here. You can always sell class yearbooks online. Uh, they do move. So we did find a Bible in here. It says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Phil 4.13. They took some notes here on humility. Um, 2.5.11. So that was the... It looks like they were studying... Um, Philippines... This is where they were uh, researching and they were taking some notes here. So we might go through that and see if we can learn a little something on humility. It's always good uh, good to get some information on humility. They got some other notes here. It looks like letting your light shine. There we go. We need some of that. Um, so we'll see what else. What else they wrote about? There might be some good lessons in All there. All right, we might have to get into this box in a little bit deeper and see what we can find in terms of cords for some of this electronics. We got a nice pair of Sony uh, headphones here. Um, they appear to be in pretty good condition. There's some sort of a, is it a modem down here? We'll have to see what this is. Yeah, Infinity, Xfinity modem. And uh, so we're going to get into this box. So we'll get this little w WD-40 out here so it doesn't spray over everything. And uh, some of this um, garage stuff can stay with us uh, and we can use it if need be. But uh, we'll get into this. It looks like there's a more stuff we can smoke and odor eliminator. So that's always good to have a little car maintenance stuff. So uh, we'll get into this box, see what else it produces. So this was kind of cool. We were uh, looking through that box and we found some more cycling related stuff here. Looks like they got all kinds of stuff when they got that bike. Uh, this is a little e-riding bag and it had a little hood here. And these appear to be a little flashlight, um, but they can also be used as flares. You uh, s s screw these top parts on and then you have little flares. So little emergency flares. Uh, these are out of batteries as you can see. They don't uh, click on, but add some batteries to those and you got a nice little emergency kit. Um, so we're getting a nice little uh, bike uh, lot here together. So we keep finding some uh, better stuff as we keep digging. This is a pair of binoculars, Bushnell uh, binoculars. Let's see what uh, we got in here, if these are any good, if I can get them out here with one hand. Let's see, is it possible? A lot of times you get some older looking binoculars. Let's see if I can do this with one hand and film for you guys. So far I'm failing. Okay, I got them out. Let's see what we got here. Pretty nice little pair. Looks pretty. Looks to be pretty clean pair of binoculars. Um, Bushnell, they don't appear to be anything special in terms of uh, high money, but uh, and I don't see the caps. So maybe the caps are in here. Let's take a look. Looks like they have a couple caps in there. Two, three, four. So the caps are in there. A nice pair of Bushnell binoculars and a case. 
So that's got to be worth a decent amount of money. I haven't done research on binoculars, but uh, I'd guess 20 bucks at least. So this unit might end up being more of a unit of stuff that we can use. You saw the food, we can eat that food. We got some envelopes here, a little knit hat, we can wash that up and sell it. But uh, so far we're uh, finding some bike stuff. We could probably hold on to that and use some of that. Extra bike helmet, little food carrier, guitar, we can learn to play guitar. That little uh, power generator, we might hold on to that. So, so far just stuff that we can keep and hold on to. That's the way it goes sometimes. You don't have to sell everything, but uh, we do have some clothing here we can wash up and sell, but uh, we're looking for that big money stuff. Let's see if we can find some. All right, we got a bag here. It looks like it came from Lovers. Okay, so uh, I was getting into the bag. It had some phones. It had some, um, some uh, what do you call those? Dice, not dice, but uh, dominoes. There we go. And we had more phones, some uh, eyeglass cases. Looks like some car stuff, a webcam, and then uh, some other stuff that we can't show you guys. We probably shouldn't show you guys, but uh, let's just say it uh, vibrates. All right, we had to take a little second to do a little sanitizing. So always interesting when you stumble upon a little bag like that. Uh, we got into it. It does have some values in it, value in it in terms of those phones and some stuff like that that we could sell those uh, dominoes. Um, but uh, significant, uh, not significant value, just minor value. So um, we'll deal with it and move on to the next box. Here they come. They're in the driveway now. They're still hanging out. There's a batch of them over here. There's a whole family trio. Oh my goodness, there's four or five. There's another one. And uh, here comes the little one too. Look at that. It's a little guy. So they're... Uh, they're getting away fast. There they go. In the neighbor's yard. I'm trying not to spook them. Let them do their thing, but uh, they're out here in the bunches, making their way through the neighborhood. Pretty cool. So we dug a little deeper and we found the phone collection. It's always kind of interesting to see how uh, people have gone through phones over the days. Uh, these last two, uh, Samsung here. And this one are probably the newest ones, but uh, look, they started off with these little guys over here. And uh, not too bad, they only broke one screen, it looks like a crack here. So the rest of them, they uh, kept in pretty good condition. So, uh, and they had this little uh, camera here. This is a little Olympus camera. Um, might have insignificant value, but uh, we'll decide what we want to do with it. And this little uh, CD player, a Studebaker CD player. So, uh, not much value here other than the newer phones. So this is kind of cool. It's called a Pebble, the only handheld magnifier you will ever need. Compact, portable, lightweight, but is that what is in here? Let's take a look. You never know, right? And is it in here? It looks like there's an open spot there. Um, is the magnifier in here? We don't know. Let's take a look. Let's get into this. The only handheld magnifier you will ever need. Looks to be in there. So we'll get into this box and see. Uh, we'll bring that inside, I think. It's getting kind of cold out here, so I think I'm going to bring this stuff inside. Close up the garage. Alright, so we got some ribs here in this oven. Uh, the wife said put it in another 30 minutes. So we're going to put it in another 30 and 350. Air fry it. And uh, hopefully it will be ready to eat in 30 minutes. Dinner will be served. Here's a look at that magnifier. Let's pull it out here and see if we have it all in here. Uh, looks like that's what it is. Pebble, a pebble magnifier. So I've never heard of this, but uh, we could look it up and see what kind of value it has. It looks to be pretty fancy, um, but uh, let's get into it. Let's get it open and uh, take a look at it. Maybe it's something we could use. The eyes are not getting any better, but uh, there it is. It looks to be brand new. It has the plastic on it and everything. So I'm not sure if it's all here, but uh, that piece is there. There was this uh, opening that may have had something in it. Um, but uh, we'll take an inventory on this. Maybe it'll turn up and uh, we can check out the value of this thing see if it's worth selling or if it's something that uh, maybe we can use I don't know pretty cool
So this storage unit buy has got me a little bit out of my routine today, I must say. Maybe I'm just having a lazy day, who knows, but uh, I guess I'm entitled to one of those every now and then. We are trying to get some work done, though. I am getting some hats listed, and I did get that dish set listed, so one step in the right direction. We're getting through some of these boxes. We're finding some interesting stuff. Um, uh, we found some clothing so far. You saw those the phones, some of that electronics, those dominoes. What else did we find? A bike stuff. We had the bike, the bike pump, and uh, the bike helmet. All those uh, safety supplies, those um, safety kit. Um, so yeah, there was some there's some interesting stuff coming out of this unit, and we've just begun. We're gonna get into the rest of the boxes. There was a suitcase as well, so suitcases are always fun. We'll probably save that for another day, maybe tomorrow. But uh, we'll get into the rest of it. It doesn't really look like a, a lot of stuff um, once you get it all home. But it was a whole truckload. Um, it definitely was. Um, we had that table. Uh, that little card table was part of it. And um, I guess that bike takes up a lot of space. All the kitchenware, the microwaves and stuff. That stuff all takes space in, uh, in the truck. But um, right now I'm just kind of going through it one box at a time. We've only really entered that big box and we're finding some decent stuff. The value is there. Again, we paid 287 total for everything. And uh, I think we're definitely uh, inching our way toward making that money back. Let's check out this a Pebble Magnifier. I'll be interested to see what that value on that stuff is. All right, this is promising. It said there were 52 listed, but only 14 have sold in the last 90 days. But look at the price on these brand new ones, $350. For two, uh, two of them here, three forty-nine for the other one. Uh, then we drop down to one twenty for a used one, um, and it shows everything that's in it. So we'll have to do uh, inventory and see if ours is complete, or maybe we're missing a, a thing or two. But uh, there's one for a one hundred dollars and sixty dollars, and then we're down under thirty-five for that one. So that's a big range, 350 for a brand new one, on down to 35, only a few listings away. So uh, hopefully we can get closer to that 350. That'd be a nice little find if we have it all sitting there. It appeared to be brand new with the plastic still on the screen. So um, I'll have to do an inventory, see if we can make sure it is complete, and uh, maybe we can list that up and make 350. That would be awesome. So that just is proof that you can find one item and pay for the entire unit just based on one item like that. And, uh, you know, it could be a big score. The 350 uh, for a brand new magnifier, you know, you take nice enough photos, show that everything is there and that it's complete, and uh, you can get that kind of money if you uh, put it out there and the right buyer comes along. Like I said, uh, 52 listed and 14 sold. There's not a lot of demand for those things. But if you throw it up in the store, you know, the buyer will come along eventually. Um, so it's good to have those uh, home run items. That's what I call them now. Um, think of reselling in terms of baseball. You got the, the singles, doubles, triples, and home runs. We want to try to focus on listing more home runs. Items over $100 that will turn a, a, a significant profit. And uh, that will definitely be the case if you sell that for $350. All right, while those ribs are heating up, I think we take a second to pack up our orders for the day. I haven't packed orders yet. Um, I've been dilly-dallying with all kinds of other stuff, but uh, we did get some listings up, But so now it's time to pack. Uh, we got to keep those orders flowing out and drop those off tomorrow at the post office. I do have a two-day handling on my orders, so I can kind of take a day off and um, not drop things off every day at the post office so that does make it kind of nice but we want to at least get the printing uh, the label printed and get them ready to go get them in the tote and ready to drop off tomorrow so let's take a look and see what sold five orders or uh, five items sold rather let's take a look and see there you see it we had five items sell for eighty three dollars and forty seven cents let's see what sold first item sold for twenty one dollars and ninety eight cents it's a pair of soft Stags black leather loafers men's dress shoes size seven and a half. Second item sold for just twelve dollars and seventy two cents. It's a pair of a red cap image beige men's pleated dress pants size thirty four waist by twenty six inseam. So twenty six inseam. Not a lot of people with legs that short. That's why they sold for less money. Third item sold for $8.87. It's a Dinotopia the Series DVD 2002 Disc 1, Episodes 1 through 4, Sonar Dinosaurs Marooned. So that's what it is, Dinotopia the Series.
Fourth item sold for $19.99. This was always my dad's team. It's a brand new Russell Athletic Sweatshirt Cotton Blend. Gonzaga University Bulldogs, size medium, long sleeve. So you can find these at Ross sometimes on clearance. I think that's why I picked this up. Um, probably bought it for around $7, sold for $19.99. So not a lot of value on this, um, but a brand new item. Good to see it move out the door. And the fifth and final item sold for $19.91. It's a Molazai blue and white soft fish plush polyester pillow toy. Measures 12 inches by 7 inches by 8 inches. So it looks to be some sort of pillow toy. I don't sell a lot of plush, but I got these. This one was pretty clean. Just a basic little pillow toy. Soft little plush toy. Um, it was small enough that I was able to put it in an envelope and uh, get it listed that way. So uh, good to see that one moving on. So that is one item that I probably would sell more of if I had more space. That is plush. They do take up a lot of space. That's the thing. Um, unless you get the really compact small ones. But you go to the plush section, you can always find plush, and they're always in pretty good condition. You can find some new with tags, list those up. But the sell-through rate isn't great unless you have something that is in demand. But um, plenty of them in the thrift shop, plenty of them in storage units. Plush always are available. So it might be a little niche worth uh, exploring in the future. But uh, right now, when space is minimal, we're sticking with snapback hats. They are, are light, and they don't take up a lot of space. And... Uh, so focusing on smalls, jewelry, um, hats, that sort of thing is what we're doing as we move forward. At least the, the bread and butter stuff, the small, the singles, um, the stuff that sells for more money, They obviously that can take up more space. A dish set that will sell for $150, we can find a space for that. But um, the small stuff that's making us, you know, 10 bucks here and there, 5 10 bucks here and there, um, we don't want that to take up a lot of space if possible. So those are all things you should probably think about if you want to get into the resale game. Uh, like I said, I used to have a suite downtown where everything would be at, and then I wouldn't really worry about space, you know, because that's where it was all housed there. Sold the space and moved the business home, and so space is a premium right now. Um, we have some rooms we're using and uh, not a lot of space left, so uh, kind of just uh, listing based on when items sell, then I'll list new items into the shop. So really focusing on improving that sell-through rate and listing uh, better items at a lower price point so things will move a little bit faster. My sell-through rate isn't very great right now since I have a lot of uh, used clothing uh, that's not in high demand. Um, so we're kind of focusing on stuff that we can list and move. That's the idea. So speaking of that, we do have those five orders that came in. I'm going to go grab those from inventory. We'll get some shipping labels on those and move those out the door. Get them in the tote ready to go out to the customer. Let's do that now. All right, through the magic of video, there they magically appear. Five orders ready for shipping labels. Let's get those printed and get these ready for the tote. All right, there they are, and here come those shipping labels. Let's get these labels printed and on these packages. Get them to the USPS tomorrow and out to these customers. Timeliness is important. All right, we got an empty tote. Let's fill it up. We got one order, two, three, four, and five. So it's about 8 o'clock now. I think I'm going to have a little dinner. Then we're going to log into the small store, see what kind of sales we had at the small store today, and then uh, maybe list a few more hats. Try to keep that hat keep, keep that hat game going. Keep those uh, new listings going up into the store, and uh, that way some fresh orders should uh, find their way to us. Um, that's the name of the game. you got to keep a listing if you want to keep selling. Um, I do have some sales running in my stores, so that always helps as well. And sending out offers, when that's available, you send offers to uh, watchers. Um, and sometimes that creates a sale, but a uh, pretty slow sales day today. But uh, it's been a slow day overall. Hopefully we get some good uh, video content of this unboxing. We found a few good items. Hopefully you guys are enjoying that. We'll continue with that in uh, tomorrow's video as well. All right, we got some potato salad. We got those ribs came out of the air fryer looking ready. And we got some corn. Here is the final product. This is dinner tonight. Ribs, potato salad, and corn. Let's get it. 
All right, we got done with dinner and we're logged into the small store. Looks like we had two orders. Let me show you. We had two orders for $44.32. dollars 42 for two orders. Let's see what sold. First item sold for, it sold for $19.69. It's a Sugu, Sugoi, Sugoi, S-U-G-O-I, men's blue and black polyester athletic cycling jacket coat. Full zip, size medium. Second item sold for $24.63. It's a TC Microsoft white and green snapback adult baseball hat cap cotton. Keyword, computer. So that Microsoft hat was kind of an interesting one. It did come out of one of those hat lots. Just proof that you can find a bigger, a higher priced item in one of those low priced hat lots. Um, that Microsoft hat probably picked it up for a couple bucks and it sold for $24 and change so that's a pretty decent profit for one hat I'm gonna go locate those two items get some shipping labels on them and add them to the tote alright two more orders for the tote, tote rather last two orders of the night alright we got everything packed up uh, orders have been fulfilled they're ready in the tote ready to go to the USPS tomorrow and be dropped off but I wanna thank everybody for watching this one to the end it's nine o'clock now so I'm gonna call an end to this video if you like this sort of unboxing video, the unboxing continues tomorrow. We're going to get into some more boxes, take a look at maybe what's in that big suitcase. It's actually a travel suitcase. It's not too big, but uh, there should be some good stuff in there. We are finding some fun electronics, some uh, more valuable items, and uh, of course all kinds of little things we could sell. We just want to list the best of the best though, so we're still searching for those home run items. And that little magnifier was an interesting one today, uh, value of 350 brand new if it is brand new. So that could be a good find. Uh, we'll see what else we find tomorrow though. Come on back, hit that subscription button, ring that notification bell. That way you'll be notified when the next video drops. Um, I put out my day in the life of a reseller vlog. Um, every morning I try to get it up in the morning and uh, we also do uh, follow up videos in the afternoon sometimes of uh, gratitude and hikes around the local areas of the parks uh, some photography videos some music videos a little bit of everything is up on the channel you can go up there and see everything that's on there right now over a thousand videos currently up there so there's plenty to watch uh, so come on back hit that notification bell and uh, make it a regular thing we'll see you on the next one bye <laughs>